Now, I take a very clear view that every country has a different approach to migration issues and challenges. We in the United Kingdom are very unique. We are an island country. We've also faced flows of literally over 20,000 people in the last calendar year coming to our country through dangerous routes and dying in the Channel, but also dying in the Mediterranean. We're a government, along with our partners, the government of Rwanda, finding new innovative solutions to global problems where I'm afraid other organisations and other countries, you know, are not coming up with alternatives and the status quo is simply not acceptable anymore. The people that have received notification have no legal basis to be in our country. Um, and I, let me just put this into a wider context as well. Um, they will, they've been served their notices for removal. And of course, we are now working together in terms of the operational plan to remove them to Rwanda and also sharing the data and the information, obviously, that is part of our partnership. But they've also said that, uh, you know, that the, in the financial support you brought, you as soon as the UK is ready to send the first batch of asylum seekers, we will be ready to receive them. Uh, we have put in place all the mechanisms which are needed for us to process the asylum uh, seeking process and we, have, we are also working on the logistics. When we were discussing this partnership, we talked about 30,000 people, but it was just for planning purpose. But it means that we are ready to receive uh, those people in tens of thousands. So. It is fine that they, they be concerned, but today we are going to have a discussion with them to bring them on board so that we can work together and find a solution to this illegal migration problem.